Hey guys, Josh back with another video. I'm actually not recording from the lab this time. I'm recording from a coffee shop. And today I wanted to demo how you can take um, a modified Ludlum Model 3 Geiger counter and change it into a scaling rate meter. Um, using a physical counter and some really easy to use software. Um, what I've done is taken a 10 minute background radiation reading and as you can see here I'm getting 34.4 counts per minute. So what I want to do is I want to measure a very 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 low level source um, like this chunk of granite here and if you can take extended readings over a longer period of time you can actually detect sm very very small amounts of radiation and make useful measurements with them. But basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take the background reading I just took and then we're going to take this reading and determine how much this source is putting off. So what I'm going to do is stop recording, pause, and then run this for probably about 10 minutes as well and so we can figure out what the activity looks like. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, the reason this is so much more accurate <clears throat> is because it takes a lot more samples over a longer period of time and averages them out, um, which is where you get scaling from in scaling rate meter. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I will go ahead and uh, try to get a jig going to position this with the uh, over the sample and measure it. Okay, so here we go again. Um, I now have the probe positioned on top of the granite we want to measure. Um, and it's being supported by the lab jack and as you can see here it's uh, measuring and actually I'm already think I'm already seeing a little bit of elevated level above background especially considering that we were uh, seeing 34.4 counts per minute here so I'm gonna go ahead and run this again I will pause the camera and then I will resume right before the readings are done Okay, I'm back. I keep pausing <clears throat> because A, waiting for the thing to count is boring, and B, my phone can only record for 10 minutes, so there you have that. But we're still measuring the granite sample, as you can see. Um, it's due to complete here in a few seconds. So it started at 57.45, so there's about 30 seconds left. Um, but yeah, so... This should hopefully give us a much more accurate sense of how many counts per minute um, that the granite actually puts off. And again, this is only like a small chip of granite that I got for free from a community building center. And uh, I've just generally been using it as a coaster because it's kind of fun. Um, yeah. But anyway, so if you haven't seen the video about this modified Lodlum Model 3 that gives me the pulse output, um, you should probably check that out in the playlist about the Geiger counters that I have, or the radiation measuring instruments. So, that we've completed the uh, counts, and as you can see here, we got 64 counts per minute. So, our, knowing that our background is 34, that should give us approximately 26 extra counts per minute. So, let's actually just, because we have the power of calculator, use that. 64.0 minus, yeah, 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 I know, the point zero is totally redundant, but I'm doing it anyway because I feel like it. And then, so, 29.6. So, with this small piece of granite, with an alpha, beta, and gamma radiation sensitive probe, I can tell that we are getting an extra... 29.6 counts per minute, which is approximately two times background. Kind of cool. Um, and yeah, like these scalar, it's you know, it's pretty cool to have like some extra functionality out of like what is generally an analog instrument um, with just a little modification. Um, and this guy, I also have um, a counter based on an Arduino, but I didn't grab that because this one was lower on the shelf, so I just grabbed it and ran. Yeah, but anyway, um, so yeah, a little bit of Python that has a little bit of smarts. You can extend your existing instruments and get more accurate and slightly more scientific readings. But anyways, yeah, cheers, guys.